The soldiers of the cross are you and I. Together, we must demonstrate the love of Christ. If you are a soldier of the cross, it must come from the heart. 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 3. It says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned but have not love, it profits me nothing. A soldier of the cross will have love in their hearts for God and others. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. It says, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things hopes all things, and endures all things. The soldier of the cross will become the essence of love, like Christ. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, and that which is in part will be done away. It's in 1 Corinthians 13, 8 through 10. The soldiers of the cross will not act as little children, but will be mature, demonstrating faith, hope, and love. 1 Corinthians 13, 11 through 13. It says, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I am also known. And now abide faith, hope, and love. These three. But the greatest of these is love. There's no greater gift and there's no greater demonstration of love than to abide in the love of Christ. John 15, 9 through 14 says, As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do whatever I command you, love one another.